Hey YouTube. Well today I wanted to show you guys this uh, used car we just got in. It, this is a uh, pretty much brand new 2012 Buick LaCrosse. This one is the touring model and surprisingly it's not an ex-rental. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice car. It only has about 5,000 miles on it. Now I've never, never in the past been a fan of Buick, but I know Buick has been trying to turn their image around. They're, they're trying to attract younger buyers, basically my generation, Generation Y buyers. And this car is supposedly one of them, or one of the cars that's supposed to attract them. It competes directly with the Taurus uh, and maybe the Avalon, the Zara. It's a really nice car. I'm very surprised by how much I actually like the car. I'm not a fan of the styling in the back, especially with all the chrome. Uh, the chrome is just not to my taste, especially with the chrome above the taillights. I like the 19-inch polished aluminum wheels a lot. This one just has a lot of tech features in it. A lot of tech features that really surprised me. Uh, you got LED taillights in the back. This one's pretty much fully loaded with navigation, backup camera, panoramic sunroof. It has the 3.6 liter direct injection V6. It's got a lot of power, front wheel drive. You know, I actually, I don't mind the way it looks in the front. I'm not a fan of those fake hood vents. These fake chrome hood vents on the, on the hood. But I guess some people may, may like it. It's just, uh, the front looks pretty good. The back is probably just where I think it has a little too much chrome. But, I mean, Buick's going in the right direction with this car. I mean, you, the, the engine's idling right now. It's really quiet. And for direct injection, I don't hear as much ticking as I usually do in some other cars with direct injection. And those 19-inch wheels on 245 40s look really good. The interior is actually pretty nice as well. Stylistically, it's not my taste, but it's pretty high quality. You got these uh, gray leather seats. They're very comfortable, really supportive. And the car has push button start. What's interesting to me though is um, it's got push button start. Shut the dinger off. I never was a fan of General Motors dinger. It's got push button start, but um, for some reason GM decided to give you a switchblade key still. I don't know why. They don't really need it because there's no place where you can insert the key in here. But let me show you a startup. And this thing has the head-up display right there. I really, really love that. That's a really nice feature. It's got a 3500 RPM rev limiter, but it's a pretty refined engine. Sounds fairly good, too. Now, like I said, the interior stylistically does not appeal to me. Uh, there's just too many curves, too many, too much going on in here. I prefer something a little bit simpler, but um, it is pretty high quality. You got soft touch materials throughout, and you got this leather stitch. It's probably not leather. It's probably just faux leather or leatherette or something. But it's kind of like I guess what Toyota is doing. This is really nice though. This is soft and padded like a bed, or it's like as soft as the seats. That's pretty nice. And this is really tight actually, because some of the other GM cars I do. Um, like this piece right here is creaky, but it's really tight in this car. So GM is doing a really good job with the new Buick interior. So that's pretty impressive to me. It's all soft touch down here, except down here. But I like how that opens up. But the steering wheel has nice fat bolstering extensions. And I actually like the wood grain here. And I usually don't like the wood grain. But um, you do got a six-speed automatic in this car. And you got a power rear sunshade in the back. And you do get a backup camera with this vehicle, which gives you the distance markers and the tra trajectory. And the side mirrors do tilt down. So a lot of unexpected tech features in this car. And my favorite one, though, is this huge panoramic moonroof. You know, I've never really, um, I've never had a panoramic moonroof, but you know, I'm, it's something that I actually might consider getting for my next car. It's really, really nice. Seats are really comfortable. You got an adjustable armrest here two-level uh, glove compartment or um, center console with USB and aux input. Um, you got XM satellite radio in here. You got HD radio, which I've never actually used, but it's a tech feature that uh, is starting to show up in cars. Wow. You got a Harman Kardon sound system in here. Like, the, the tech features in here are just fantastic. Uh, it's really unexpected. Like, I'm really pleasantly surprised with what Buick has been doing. Let me show you guys under the hood. This does have the direct injection V6, and I believe it makes 302 horsepower in this car. 
There's not really much to look at, but GM likes to taunt how it uh, has direct injection. You can hear the ticking noise in it. But like I said, I believe it has 302 horsepower. It's a really fast, refined engine also. And you do get HID headlights with this car. So that's a really nice, nice feature. And those tires are really fat, all those tires. I'll show you guys the back seat and the trunk really quickly, if I can find the trunk release. Um, maybe it's over here. <laughs> or maybe I'll just grab the key. I don't know where the trunk release is. That's interesting. But let's show you the back seat. Pretty roomy, that's where I'd have it to drive. The sloping roof line does cut in on headroom a little bit, so if you're tall, you need to make sure you duck. But uh, really nice panoramic sunroof, and check out that legroom. It's pretty good. You got this armrest right here with cup holders. It's a pretty nice back seat. A little bit more roomy than the Taurus in the back seat here. But uh, this car does have remote start. I can see that, that button right there, but... Oh, that was creepy. The front door just, oh, just closed on its own. Oh, wow, that's really cool. I like that feature. Um, the opening's kind of small in the trunk, but it's pretty deep. It goes in pretty far. like the exhaust tips. They remind me of that Lexus LS. They're integrated, but it's a really nicely finished trunk. Just a, kind of a small opening. You can see there's the backup camera right there. The car's dinging at me because I took the key out of the, out of the vehicle. But let's take it on a little quick drive. It's really unexpected how uh, nice this car is. Buick's doing a good job. I'm not sure if they can actually attract this, the young generation Y buyers that they're hoping to get. But, um, I mean, this is pretty much pleasing the people who are loyal to the Buick brand. It's a very smooth car. It's interesting because Buick is actually selling better in China than it is in their home market here in America. But I can see why it appeals to the buyers in China. I mean, it's a really smooth and nice interior, smooth ride, powerful engine. In terms of handling, the steering is actually decently precise, but very numb. Very numb, which is which, which is the kind of buyers who buy this car are looking for that. Doesn't really appeal to the driving enthusiast, but you do get a sport mode with the transmission. Put it in there, sport mode comes on. I love that heads up display. It's really, really nice. Lots of buttons over here, so it's kind of um, a little bit confusing. I mean, you got ventilated seats, heated steering wheels, all really, really nice stuff in here. The steering wheel feels good in your hands, too. It's unexpected for this kind of car. Let's see, that truck is like barreling down, speeding on this road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Visibility in here, you got this really thick A pillar, though. They need to try to help thin that out a little bit because there's a big, it creates like a big blind spot. I mean, lots of power, plenty of smooth power. The transmission seems really responsive. And I love that heads up display. I know I've said that several times, but uh, I mean, it's quiet in here. I'm not used to driving a car that's so quiet. And I wonder why the owner didn't keep this car. It only has 5,300 miles on it. It's a really nice car. Anyways, guys, if you're in the market for a full size American sedan, I can proudly say that I would recommend this Buick if this is the kind of car that uh, appeals to you. I mean, GM's done a really good job with this car. It's, uh, it's a nice surprise. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.